Hello, my name is Paromatic, and in this tutorial, we are going to uncover what it takes to create a brand new Facebook account. To begin, navigate to the Facebook website. The URL is www.facebook.com. In this series of tutorials, we are going to create and customize an account for Candice. To begin creating her account, we'll have to enter a few pieces of information about her. I'm going to start by typing in her full name, Candace Berkeley. On the next line, I'll enter in her email address, Candace at planasoftware.com, followed by her password on the third line. I will select female as her gender. Candace's birthday is May 2nd. We'll pick 2nd. And the year is 1985. Now that I have entered all the required fields, I will click on the sign up button. Notice a CAPTCHA control appears. I will input the CAPTCHA text in the text box provided and then once again click on the sign up button. A progress bar appears indicating the account is being registered. A page appears and it indicates that in order to verify the sign up, I must click on the confirmation link sent to Candace's email account. I will navigate to the email and click on the confirmation link. Notice the text in the blue box indicating Candace's account has been created. In this step one of three, the option is available to find our friends who are already using Facebook. A quick way for Candace to find her friends is by inputting her email credentials. Facebook will then search all of her email contacts to see if they have a registered Facebook account. I can collapse the email option by clicking on the Find Friends Using Your Email Address Book text. I can expand it by clicking on it again, but I will elect to keep it collapsed. Another way for Candace to find her contacts is by clicking on the Find People You Instant Message link. Here, she can enter her AOL instant messaging credentials or her Windows Live credentials and add her friends this way. We'll skip over this step and add friends in a later tutorial. In step two of three, the option is available for Candace to enter in her high school, college, and company information. We are going to skip over this step as we will be adding in this information in a later tutorial. In this step, however, I'd like to point out something. Just because there is a text box to enter in information does not mean that you are obligated to or that you have to fill in that information. This applies to all social networking sites, not just Facebook. On that note, let's skip over this step. On step three of three, the option is presented to join a network. Let's skip over this step as well. We will revisit how to join a network in a later tutorial. The page you are currently looking at is Candace's homepage. Every Facebook user has a homepage visible only by them that features a news feed. The news feed displays information about their friends regarding profile changes, upcoming events, and birthdays. You can control what feeds about you are published on your friend's homepage by using the customizable privacy features within Facebook. We will explore these in a later tutorial. You can get to your homepage at any time by clicking the Facebook button here or the home button here. You can find friends already on Facebook by using the friend finder. Also, you can make changes to installed Facebook applications by clicking on the links below. 
we will explore applications in a later tutorial. To navigate to your profile page, which is also known as your Facebook page, click on the profile button. Your profile page is the page visible to all your friends. As you can see, there isn't much on Candace's profile page yet, but there will be. That's all there is to creating your very own Facebook account. This is all for this tutorial. I'm Paromatic and thank you for watching.